What's the problem with today's SIEM environment is that there are simply too many events. In some companies, it's not rare to see billions of events a day. Depends on the size of your of your network. So too many events means that there are a lot of uh, false positives, and that desensitize the people and you know when the invest the breach happens and the uh, forensic investigation is conducted the data is there but we were desensitized people were not listening to it let's use this simple analogy to explain how we can use features in curator that uh, helps eliminate those false positives let's say that i'm in my house and uh, and doing my normal things and all of a sudden i hear a smoke detector coming off. So I get this uh, buzzer. Uh, should I, you know, call 911 and run? Uh, is this just noise? These are, you know, we, let, to use an analogy, these are the events. Okay? Or logs. Okay? Now, that might not be enough information for me to decide whether this is a real fire or not. But I can get some additional pieces of information. For example, let's say that I, at the same time that I hear that alarm, I also perceive the aroma of a nicely broiled steak. Well, uh, I may think, well, there's somebody cooking, and more probably the, they were overcooking the, the 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 steak, and that's what triggered the the uh, smoke detector. Think of this as another sense, another type of information. It's not audible. It's, uh, it's a sense of smell and as the end flows, network flows. And this is what layer three and four of the TCP IP stack provide. And your router co has all that information uh, and can tell you about what type of protocol is being used, what port, and, and other pieces of information that can be very useful. But I also have other pieces of data. Let's say that uh, I have heard this smoke detector going off before. So it's not the first time that, that, I, that I know about it, I heard it, so therefore I'm less alarmed. This is what we sometimes also call baseline. This is normal in my environment. In my house, I've seen that happening before. That's one of the things that we use for our network behavior anomaly detection engine uh, within Curator. Let's say that I also have a high temperature rise sensor in the kitchen and I can see the reading from my from the room where I am. Well, if that doesn't indicate that the temperature has risen suddenly, then I may think that that's not a real fire. Again, think of that as Qflows, which is layer seven which basically inspect the, the, the first 64 byte of every uh, packet that go through. And let's say I have a camera all around the house. I have a video system and I, and I record everything that happened. I can actually go back and, and, and turn the, the camera that points to the kitchen and find out you know everything that happened before and after and, and determine whether there was a fire or not. That is what the forensics capabilities of Curator uh, you know, brings to the table. So this is a simple analogy to indicate that the more context that you have, the less false positive that you 